Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about market equilibrium in which we will see effects of a change in demand and supply and we will also see effects of simultaneously change in demand as well as supply. First of all, we are going to talk about effect of a change in demand. Our first case is increase in demand. In this diagram on x axis, we have quantities, y axis, we have price. DD and DD1 are demand curve, SS is supply curve. Our initial equilibrium point is E. Equilibrium quantity is OQ. Equilibrium price is OP. Now suppose supply constant, only demand increase. Due to increase in demand, our demand curve shift from DD to DD1. Our new equilibrium point is E1. At this new equilibrium point, you can see our quantity has increased from Q2 to Q1 and price Prices has increased from P2 to P1. Quantity increase obviously because demand increase. But why price increase from P2 to P1 at a new equilibrium point? When supply is constant, only demand is continuous increasing, then obviously prices will also increase. Now, that's why at this new equilibrium point E1, our prices has increased from P2 to P1 and P1 prices are higher than equilibrium price because supply is constant, only demand is increasing. Second case is decrease in demand. Our initial equilibrium point is E. Now, suppose supply is constant due to reduce in demand, our demand curve shift backward from DD to DD1. Our new equilibrium point is E2. At this new equilibrium point, you can see our quantity reduced from Q2 to Q2. Obviously, demand reduced. And prices reduced from P2 to P2. Prices reduce because supply is constant, but demand is continuous reducing. That's why our prices reduce from P2 to P2 at this new equilibrium point E2. Now we will see effects of change in supply. First case, increase in supply. Our initial equilibrium point is E. Now suppose demand constant due to increase in supply, supply curve shift forward. S1, S1 is new supply curve. E1 is new equilibrium point. At this equilibrium point, quantities has increased from Q2 to Q1 due to increase in supply. But prices has reduced from P2 to P1. Why prices has reduced? Because demand is uh, constant. Only supply is increasing. That means producer have so much remaining stock or we can say that producer have so much remaining products to sell but consumers are not demanding. Eventually producer reduce price from P2 to P1. That's why at this new equilibrium point E1 our prices has reduced from P2 to P1. Second case decrease in supply. Our initial equilibrium point is E. Now suppose demand constant due to reduce in supply, supply curve shift backward. S1, S1 is new supply curve, E1 is new equilibrium point. At this equilibrium point, our quantity is reduced from Q2 to Q1 due to reduce in supply. But prices has increased from P2 to P1. Why prices has increased? Because demand is constant but suddenly supply has reduced. That means producer don't have so much remaining uh, stock to sell. That's why at this new equilibrium point E1 our prices has increased from P2 to P1. Now we will see effects of a simultaneously change in demand as well as supply. First case decrease in demand exactly equal to decrease in supply. E is our initial equilibrium point. Now suppose demand decrease and due to decrease in demand, demand curve shift backward. At same proportion, supply also decrease and supply curve also shift backward. E1 is our new equilibrium point. When demand and supply equally reduce, then our price will remain constant. That's why at this new equilibrium point E1, our price is constant OP. But why? Price only fluctuate when demand is more than uh, supply or supply is more than demand. But when both are reducing at equal proportion, then why uh, price will fluctuate? That's why when both reduce at same proportion, then price will remain constant OP. 
नेक्स्ट केस डिक्रीज इन डिमांड इज ग्रेटर देन डिक्रीज इन सप्लाई दैट मीन्स वेन यूर डिमांड डिक्रीज सो मच बट सप्लाई डिक्रीज ओनली लिटल बिट इज अवर इनिशियल इक्वलीबरियम पॉइंट इवन इज अवर न्यू इक्वलीबरियम पॉइंट वेयर बोथ कर्व हैज शिफ्ट बैकवर्ड हेयर यू कैन सी डिमांड रिड्यूज सो मच बट सप्लाई रिड्यूज ओनली लिटल बिट सो वॉट विल हैपन विद प्राइज prices will also reduce at this equilibrium point you can see our prices has reduced but why obviously your demand reduce so much but supply reduce only little bit that means producer still have so much remaining product to sell obviously they will reduce price next case decrease in demand is less than decrease in supply is our initial equilibrium point even is our new equilibrium point at this point you can see demand decrease only this much but supply decrease this much that means decrease in demand is less than decrease in supply in such a case our prices will increase from p to p1 next case increase in demand is greater than increase in supply that means demand increase so much but supply increase only little bit is our initial equilibrium point even is new equilibrium point at this new equilibrium point you can see demand increase so much but supply increase only little bit as a result our price increase from p to p1 at this new equilibrium point our prices are p1 next case increase in demand is less than increase in supply is our initial equilibrium point even is new equilibrium point at this equilibrium point you can see demand increase only little bit but supply increase so much as a result price reduce from p to p1 next case decrease in demand is greater than increase in supply that means demand is reducing so much and supply is increasing little bit is our initial equilibrium point even is new equilibrium point at this new equilibrium point you can see demand reduce so much but supply increase little bit as a result our price is reduced from p to p1 but why price reduce our demand is reducing not increasing in such a case our supply should reduce but supply is increasing no doubt little bit increasing but still increasing na that's why our price reduce from p to p1 at this new equilibrium point but our overall quantity reduce from q to q1 why overall quantity reduce because proportion of reduction in demand is greater as compared to increase in supply next case decrease in demand is less than increase in supply initial equilibrium point is e new equilibrium point is e1 at this new equilibrium point you you can see demand reduce only little bit supply increase so much obviously when supply increasing price reduce from p2 p1 but overall quantity will increase why overall quantity will increase because proportion of reduction in demand is less as compared to increase in supply now we will see some special cases increase in demand when supply is perfectly elastic perfectly elastic supply means producer can supply any quantities at given price if producer can supply any quantities at given price that means change in demand will not affect price price will remain constant is our initial equilibrium point this horizontal line shows a perfectly elastic supply curve even is new equilibrium point at this new equilibrium point you can see our demand has increased still our price remain constant next is when supply is perfectly inelastic and increase in demand perfectly inelastic supply means now producer cannot change the supply here you can see initial equilibrium point is e this vertical line shows a perfectly inelastic supply initial equilibrium point is e in new equilibrium point is e1 at new equilibrium point you can see as our demand increase price also increase from p to p1 because producer cannot change supply next case is increase in supply when demand is perfectly elastic in such a case price will remain constant obviously when your demand can change at any extent then increase in supply will not affect your price this horizontal line shows perfectly elastic demand is our initial equilibrium point 
even is new equilibrium point at this new equilibrium point you can see our supply has increased but still our prices are constant increase in supply when demand is perfectly inelastic when your demand cannot change but supply is continuous increasing obviously prices will reduce this vertical line shows a perfectly inelastic demand is our initial equilibrium point even is new equilibrium point at this new equilibrium point you can see as our supply increase our price reduce from p to p1 so this is all about market equilibrium i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video by check care